Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial about Greenfoot. Um, so today um, we are going to uh, learn a new concept in programming and I'll talk about about it later. Um, but before that let me show you what my turtle can do already. So I have here the turtle, then run the program, then if you notice it can move left or right, up and down, as I tell it to do, because we have uh, added some controls already, which we've learned from the last video that talk about how to use the set location method. So if you notice, I just opened the turtle class editor. You'll find here under the app, public void app, it contains now if statements which allow us to control the turtle using the green for dot is key down method and uh, that is in combination with the set location method and uh, if you notice the set location uses get x and get y uh, as its parameters but before you can actually control it we add some few operations like addition and subtraction we deduct or um, add a value to our current coordinates or x and y depending on the direction that we want here okay so that was the lesson last time now um, let us uh, um, add more spice to this uh, scenario by adding some way for the turtle to eat something when it actually touches a certain object so let us go back to the main window first let's create a new subclass of the actor so right click actor select new subclass and then from here uh, let's uh, find some food that would be appealing for our turtle so let's select orange ah no not orange probably a burger okay so let's name our class always remember capitalize the first letter of your class name just like proper nouns so burger then your picture select ok so again um if you notice every time i reset or compile my work my turtle disappears so if you want to retain their actual positions here or default positions might as well save its current location and literally the actual command for this is under controls and selecting the option save the world make sure though you don't run or click run before you do this or else this will not work i'll probably explain how the save the world option works in a later topic but for now let's click this okay so in fact the my world class has been updated with some codes which is the prepare method but we'll learn about it in a while for now let's focus back on our program so if we run it run the program and as you can see you know we have uh, our turtle here controllable if i get to the burger it should remove the burger okay giving you the, the illusion that it is actually eating it so we want to remove it as the turtle touches the burger so how do you add that into your code so let's move back to our class editor okay so I hope you can see how my cursor behaves here so I want to go to this area so I added an, an enter I pressed enter to add another space there and we want to add the a certain method that will which allows us to remove and also to do to detect if it touches the 
object. So let's go to the Greenfall class documentation. It should be here. And uh, of course, the first thing that you would like to check first is under the class actor because our classes are under the actor class. So most likely, some methods will be available for us to use here. Okay, so first we want to detect the object. So there's some objects or some methods that we can use here like get objects at offset. This one get intersecting objects okay we have also get objects in range okay but uh, we want to add this one also get one object at offset there are other things that we can use also but for now let us find a boolean method remember boolean methods or methods with a return type of boolean methods that can answer true or false questions which we can use in our condition and here so we have a protected boolean okay so, so protected boolean so is touching check whether this actor is touching any other objects the requirement of this method is to you have to supply the name of the class inside the is touching method so we want to use this is touching method under a condition okay and on also since we want to remove the object there is a, uh, a method also that allows us to do that and that is remove touching almost same requirement which is uh, the name of the class okay? and re it removes the object of the given class that this actor is currently touching. So, how do we write it in code? Let's go back. So let's, uh, of course, you want to put your code under the turtle and not in the burger, unless you want to see a burger or turtle eating burger. Okay, and then, so I'm here back in the turtle class so if if is touching open and close parenthesis type the name of the class that you want to eat of course not turtle so we want to detect first the class if you notice I type dot class here and it turned red that means it's validated as or validated that it exists in the world open and close parenthesis always for adding your then statement to contain it use the grouping symbols properly type remove touching and also remember if you notice i'm typing it this way because that is how it is written in the documentation and again remove the burger then end it with a semi semicolon so if we check okay it seems correct so let's try to see if it's correct or else the debugger will tell us if there is an error but gladly it mentions that there is no syntax error let's go back to the world main window to try our program run it and now it can eat the burger so um, that is uh, very simple, right? So we have used under our code two new methods, which is is touching and remove touching. Okay, so probably we can uh, add more things, uh, like for example, it can make a sound uh, when it eats a burger, or it can do something like uh, it should end the game as it eats a burger. So we can add more codes here. Of course, you have to add it under the then statement okay so i think uh, this is about the how to eat the burger or how to eat a certain object in the world and uh, that is by using is touching and remove touching method that's the end of the video so um in the next video you'll see uh, later how to 
um, segregate and organize the following codes uh, so that we can uh, read the codes especially under the public void act easier so watch out for the next video goodbye